In this episode, I'm going to use the Tinkercad Scribble tool to create a concept. Then I'll actually design it in Tinkercad, 3D print it, and I'll have my phone stand charger when I'm done. I'll show you all the steps on today's Filament Friday. Filament Friday is brought to you every week by my Patreon supporters, and they get special access to ChepClub.com. So join us. When I travel with the family, I take my portable battery pack so we can charge our phones together. I wanted a stand to put on top of this thing, so I figured I'd design one in Tinkercad. While we were all together, I brought up Tinkercad on my phone. And then I brought in the scribble tool so we could just start sketching ideas. And when we were done after several ideas, this was the winner. We figured we'd do a clip around the battery pack and then some slots to hold the phone on top. Then we could just connect the cable around the edge. And when I did a 3D rendition of it, I said this should be easy to print as well. So it should be an easy thing to build in Tinkercad. I wanted to build something that looked a lot better than a hand sketch like I did, so I started from scratch, but I knew where I was going. The first thing I wanted to do is make a phone. And I grabbed the thickest phone, which turned out to be mine, an iPhone 8 with a case around it. So I took those dimensions and I basically just made a phone. And I'm going to use this as the guide for the slots. Then I brought in another block and I sized this to the charger, the battery pack itself. So now I know what size to clip around. Now I made these just slightly bigger than the actual phone and the actual battery pack. That way when they take away material they're actually going to take a little bit of extra. I use these to build the concept here. I use the duplicate tool to duplicate that phone three times. They're going to sit this way on top of the battery pack. So I'm going to group these guys together and I'll make those into a hole to cut the slots. So the first thing I need to do is make the bracket to go around this battery pack. I made the battery pack into a hole and then I brought in a block and I sized the block so it was slightly smaller than the length of the battery pack. Once I got that in position, now I just needed to stretch this block up and over so it covered the whole battery pack. I'll cut a slot in the bottom in a second, but this will be the frame that will go over the battery pack itself. So I'm going to center these so I cut out the right location and then group them together. And there it is. That's the basis for the snap over piece. Now I need to cut the bottom so I can actually snap this over. So I brought in another box element that's a hole and I just positioned it across the whole thing, centered it, and then grouped those together. Now after I did this I realized this is pretty square and ugly and I needed to round the corners. In order to do that you can't do it once you've grouped. So I had to ungroup everything, then I rounded the corners of the box itself, then I regrouped everything and now I had a nice rounded shape snap over base to work from. The next section to build was the arms or slots for the phones. So what I did is I brought the work plane tool and put it right on top of the snap over. So now I'm working on the top of this thing and all dimensions are from there. Once again I just started with a box element, stretched it to fit pretty much the full top of this thing with a little bit of gap on both sides which later I'll change. And I rounded the edges so it looks nice and then I dropped this down so the bottom isn't rounded, the bottom is kind of flat. Then I brought the phones in and positioned those, centered them, and then I realized I need to make this longer because otherwise I'll have to print with supports. I need it as long as the bottom. So I stretched it again and then I decided I got room for another slot. So I went back and did four phones and did all the same process again. I just brought it in as holes, centered everything, and now the design was done. So here it was. I could export it as a .stl file and I'm ready to slice it. I exported the .stl file, brought it into Cura 3.2, set to a 0.3 layer height, 15% fill with an infill pattern of lines. Let me show you how this is going to look. It's basically just a crisscross pattern. This should make it strong enough, but also allow me to flex it a little bit. And I printed with my Filament Friday 3D printing filament. I used my black, it's PLA, and it came out nice on my CR10 Mini. It's got a little bit of a flex, a little glue to clean off on the bottom, but overall, for a 0.3 layer height, this is a really nice print. So now for the real test. Will it fit the battery pack? Well, it was a little bit looser than I wanted, but it does work. And this thing isn't going to be bounced around anywhere, so I think this should work fine. If I print it again, I'd probably print it a little bit tighter. I designed this to fit a phone with a case, which most of our phones do, but I wanted to test a phone without a case just to make sure it didn't like fall out. And it slides around a little bit, but it's going to work too. So I plug that in, the cable goes in, this is a portable charger, it's fantastic. And then while it's sitting 
wherever we're at, if there's a plug, we can plug in the battery and plug in our phones and then just disconnect the battery and take it with us. So I think this will be a handy tool to bring on a trip. Being able to sit down and scribble out a design in Tinkercad and then design it, print it, and produce a final product, I just think this is really handy. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. If you like this type of project, check out these videos that are popping up. If you want to help support the channel, a dollar month to Patreon via Chep Club. And if nothing else, click on that Chep logo and subscribe. That's it for this week. I'll see you next time right here at Filament Friday.